Hey everybody, wanted to make a quick video. I see a lot of people on the LT pages, whether it's a truck, VET, CTSV, 6th gen Camaro, whatever it is, any of the stuff that uses these GDI injectors and the GM platform. I see a lot of people talking about replacing the Teflon seals at the bottom. Uh, it is recommended that when the injectors get pulled that the seals get replaced, even if they do look good. Um, if there's any kind of nicks in it, you can actually start leaking compression and you can actually start melting the plastic body on the injector and it's all bad. Um, another thing I see a lot of the times is people buying the Amazon kits to replace the seals. And when you buy the Amazon kit, you get this one right here. Comes with something like this. Cones to put the seals on and then the compression tool to supposedly compress them down to the proper size. Also seen this kind right here. A couple different sellers offer this one. Same thing, it's gonna come with a cone to push it down. Um, and then we have ours. Ours is actually just a 3D printed piece that we spec the sizing ourselves on. And I'm gonna show you why these two are not the greatest option and why a lot of you are having issues. Go ahead and start with this middle one actually. Um, so this one's on here, it's a brand new Teflon seal. Got the end, the bigger end of the two, this is the smaller end. Go ahead and put that on there, great. I've already compressed this one by the way with this tool, that's why it went on so easily. Get it on there, pull it off after I don't know, a minute or so is usually about how long we leave them on there. And you go on to the second one. Well, the issue is you want these to be anywhere from 0 0.305 to about 0 0.311 um, inches for them to seal properly. Anything below 0 0.30, or sorry, yeah, 0 0.305, you're gonna start leaking combustion. And again, you can have a lot of issues with that. And anything over 0.311 you're gonna start catching these seals on the edge and causing issues there so as you can see this one is only compressing down to 0.316 and you're gonna run into the issues that I see a lot of you guys posting about how you can't get the seals to compress properly so that again is this one put that up there and we'll move on to this one again brand new seal got the tool here Got the flared end, the bigger end, it's supposed to be able to compress it on. It's extremely hard and does not go on very smoothly at all. And what ends up happening is, as you can see, you completely destroy the seal and have to get a new one. That's if you can even get the damn thing on. Put that up there. Then you have ours. I've obviously already compressed this one on both of these with ours. Get it on there. Again, I've already compressed it, so that's why it was easy to get on there. Leave it on for a minute, let it compress. Take it off. Zeroed out. Nope, nope. Now it's zeroed. Nope. Why is this thing not standing? All right, zeroed out. There you go. As you can see, we're at 0 0.3065, 307. That's the proper compression you want on these things. If I was to take, say, this one that I see a lot of people using and try and put it onto the one that we used our tool on, that's not gonna seal against your head. You're gonna have all sorts of compression issues. Take the other one I see a lot of people using. Same thing. These just simply do not compress the seals as much as they need to be. So if you're having issues, getting it to seat, getting it to seal, getting it to fit in the hole without tearing it up, it's because you're using these. Unfortunately, there's not really a great option on the market to get them down to the proper size. I have seen people use these and get away with getting the injectors in there. 
most of the time they nick it and don't care and then it ends up biting them in the ass so just something to keep in mind um, I probably will start offering these on our website and if I do I'll eventually put a link in the description to them but mainly just something I wanted to bring your attention these are not the best tools for what you guys are trying to do thanks for watching